Sandy and Tim were in love. This wasn't their first date. After 40 years of marriage, they still laughed, cried, and played together. Then, a car accident changed everything. Sandy was bound to a wheelchair, and Tim, Tim was gone. Sandy held on to her family, her faith, and the hope of the resurrection, but she still felt pain. She still felt loss. How was she going to go on? I want to live my life closer to thee. Sometimes we don't know what we have until it's gone. When we lose a spouse, a child, a parent, a friend, we are left with a hole. A part of us that was filled with love and joy is now empty. When we can't see the love around us, what do we look to? How do we go on? What do we do on the other side of loss? Even when we feel that we have no one close to us, we do have someone who loves us, who cares for us, who walks with us every day. 1 Peter 8.9 says, Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible. 1 Peter 8, 9 reminds us that our belief in Jesus Christ brings us inexpressible joy. We have a loving relationship with a loving Savior. Jesus humbled himself to the point of death, even death on a cross, to show his love for you. Will we still experience sadness, pain, loss on this side of heaven? Yes, it's unavoidable. Yet we know the outcome of our faith in Jesus. It's the salvation of our souls. We continue on day by day knowing that with Jesus we continue on for eternity. So now, even though we weep, we have an inexpressible joy in our Savior. Would you pray with me? God, you are good. Help me to remember your great love for me, even on my hardest days. Help me to express my great love for you with worship and acts that serve my neighbor. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.